Yo, this birch will tell you to calm down. Y'all better calm down before we shut this bitch down. DJ Calm Down, Calm Down TV. And who these people click to see? What it do? It's your boy, Virtual Tez. Yeah, uh, now, of course, I'm from Nashville. Uh, I drove out here to Clarksville. Tell me about, uh, well, tell me where you're from exactly. Well, I was born in Cincinnati, but I'm really, like, from Clarksville, Tennessee, because I was, I moved here, like, in the fifth grade. I'm from the north side of town, okay. like, the Birchwood area. And like shit, I've been. Oh, so was an area. Yeah, it's really an area. It's really a neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's a neighborhood, like one of the smallest neighborhoods out here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Probably like only a couple streets. Okay. Uh, you said that's on the north. Right. All right. All right. Uh, describe growing up. Like well, shit. You said you was in Cincinnati. Came out here in the fifth grade. When you first got down here, how was? Oh, first going, going moving down here at first it was probably kind of slow at first I was like damn you know moving from the city yeah and then uh just being down here shit I think I don't like just form like a just great bond with like you know the friends type of niggas I grew up with like we've been fucking with each other since we was like 15 you know 14 like sleeping on each other mom couch till like we all grown and still you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. rock with each other like the same way so it's like, I think I found like a, a family away from family. Yeah. Now, um, of course, for me, listening to some of your music, a lot of people know you from music recently. Um, kind of know that you kind of re- related to the, the Red the red Raggers. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Niggas already know. I'm Billy. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Trey. Yeah. But shit, that's kind of like. It's kind of like the life that's like explaining Clarksville. Like Clarksville is like a, a real gang infested place. It's almost, I can't even explain it. It's like LA and Chicago and combined, combined. Like it's one place I know you can come and you can, you can damn near find anything you probably heard about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'll find like a little section of them. Yeah. Um, would you say the Birchwood area was specifically kind of a blood area? Well, it's, it's kind of complicated. See, like, it started off, like, more like the older generation before me, you know, was more like on um, Crip stuff. It was kind of like my generation kind of came, you know what I'm saying? And oh, we God. just, like, took a whole nother path, you know what I'm saying? And it took it took it like that. But it's always, like, my hood has always been like pirates. Like, you can't find no virtual nigga in virtual because niggas is everywhere. Like, just, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't say like, I say we known for being bloods. If you mention us, I heard they probably gonna say them blood niggas. Yeah. Now if I was to go in there, if I was to go to the Birchwood area, like could I could I wear blue? Oh uh, yeah. See, you can is pretty it? much. I feel like now, damn near anywhere in America, well, yeah, like like not, yeah. like you can like wear whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't really be like. On that Checking like color banging yeah. shit really too much no more. Mm-hmm. It's just more or less I guess if you felt like somebody was like disrespecting you, like like trying to be you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> disrespecting you in a manner. But I don't think people really care what you know what I'm saying color for my fucking wearing. Now, um, Tay, is that the real name? Yeah. You stuck with the real name? Yeah. You have the rap fin- um, ever rap under any other name? Uh, I say when I was like. Young as hell, you know what I'm saying? I just used to go by like Lil Tiz, you know what I'm saying? But as like just being in the streets and shit, people started like, I guess that was a way to explain me, you know, it's more than one Tiz out here. So they'd be like, you know, uh, Lil Tiz or da da da, what Tiz? And they'd be like, man, virtual Tiz, Tiz, you know what I'm saying? So it kind of stuck like that. That's how virtual Tiz like kind of came about. Now, um, describe growing up a little bit more. Um, you ever into sports? Gamer? See, I used to be like real into. I'm still into basketball. Like, I love watching that shit, playing 2K. I still play this shit every now and then. But, like, I think at one point in time, at a young age, I was like, I want to rap. Like, I just, I just thought that fucking. I'm too fly to be like getting all sweaty and shit. Like, I'm, I want to be the fly nigga, you know what I'm saying? Looking fresh and just. Yeah. Doing some effortless shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And getting your coins. Okay. Uh, who was your, uh, maybe some of your music inspiration growing up? 
Or maybe still to this day. Probably always gonna be a music inspiration. It's Gucci Gucci Man always been my oh, favorite rapper. Me. Like Me too. He always been my favorite rapper. Like I've been such a Gucci Man fan, like that I never fucked with Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Just just on the strip of like I, I like the Gucci man. I can't so listen, hard. I can't even I do like, it. Nah, I'm sorry. I don't fuck with this shit. Like anybody that was against bro, I'm like, nah, I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> like it's like this with me. And I I would never do a Jeezy interview unless I at least, I, I feel like I couldn't do, I gotta do Gucci first because if, if Gucci seen me do the Jeezy interview and it was like, I can't fuck with you, then I'll be, it would break my heart. So I was like, I can't even, you feel yeah, even I as a journalist a though. I fuck a lot. And it's wild though because I ain't even like, you know, Jeezy has some motherfucking, um, he, he, he has some bangers. Like, I can't even deny his talent. Some, he has some bangers. But WAP, it's just like, it's like more away from the music, just like the whole body of, you know, the package, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just respect, like, when you respect, when you like, damn, you can believe some shit, that's what a nigga saying, like, you like, you fuck with it a little more. Brother, the Gucci, who else? If we was to get in the car right now, what you listening to? If we get in the car, if I wasn't listening to me, because I really like, I be like, I feel Lil Wayne when he be doing them interviews and he be saying like, he don't be knowing about shit because he don't listen to shit. I really don't listen to other people too often. Like, unless, like, you know, I'm scrolling on the gram and, like, everybody talking about the little baby tape. Like, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I ain't the type of nigga that probably got it when it dropped. But when I heard, like, okay, like, the future, they just dropped that shit the other day. I ain't get it when it dropped. But I heard people, nigga, went go to 30 minutes. I was like, oh, I, don't, I need to hear this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, fucking, uh. But I ain't even gonna lie. I've been into the uh the Detroit wave, like, lately. Like, I listen to a lot of music I can relate to. I listen to, like, Eastside Peasy. You know what I'm saying? Like, F&B DZ. Really just, like, any type of trap shit. I might throw on some mo big moochie grape. Motherfucking, uh, what's that the nigga name with QC? Freddy, uh, Bankroll oh, Freddy. Yeah. Drip like this. Yeah, I listen to different shit. I might listen to Sauce Walker. Shit, I might cut on some thug. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I listen to everything. I'm really a music head. Like, if, if it's dope and I do hear it, you know, I'll listen to it. But I'm really like, oh, school nigga, I listen to shit I know. You got like a, uh, a top five, maybe? Rappers? Yeah, like all time. Like, maybe not a specific order, but... Like, if I can just think of, think of five rappers just off the top, like, it's crazy, because I don't know how to say top five, because if I think top five, I damn near got to think, like, a whole body of work. Like, you can't even... So, yeah, it, can't, yeah, so yeah. it can't be no new niggas, like... Type it got to be, like, top five in no order. Of course, I already said, wow, uh, Drake, you know what I'm saying? Because the nigga just... He cold, whatever like he touch. He made classics out the whatever classes, he touch yeah. is is gone. That's the ultimate cosign. Mm -hmm. Weezy will forever be the goat, like, cause the nigga like was on like a. a, a he was dropping, but he was yeah, he was, he was on a, he was on a motherfucker. <laughs> so Weezy would definitely have to be. That's that's three right there. Damn, it's crazy for the the hard to say the other two, cause I'm really like, I fuck with lyrics. But that don't like just like win me necessarily. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I hope I, I would kind of say just off of consistency and, and I can go through his catalog and probably ride to Texas right now. Future, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I throw Future in there and the fourth and the fifth. Like, I don't even know. I'll just throw me. Fuck it. I don't know. Because I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. When you first start or jumped on the rap scene, uh, like you got videos for the Hoodrich Pablo One, yeah, you had, you had dreads, right? Yeah. Uh, what made you cut your hair? Man, I just tired of that shit. Like yeah. one day, I just like I had dreads for like a long time, like probably like five years or some shit. And like I always had long hair, like all through my life, probably on and off cutting it. Mm -hmm. I just like fuck it. It just felt a relief to just get a fresh cut. You know. <laughs> Yeah. And then I was like, I wanted to like re reinvent myself, you know what I'm saying? Like not necessarily have a new image, but just come with a, 
a new look, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. gonna be dropping like that's when I started just dropping videos like crazy. I'm just like I'm finna just go crazy right yeah. now. Now tell me how that uh situation happened with the uh What's the song? TWA? Yeah. Trap with Attitude. With, uh, blow. Really like shit. Fucking, um. Shout out my nigga, Lil Bruh. TBT, uh, he from Kentucky. My little homie. Fuck with him. At the time, shit, my money wasn't even straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lil Bruh, he money was straight, so he's like, man, Ted, we gotta go, bro. We gotta bust a move. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go to the A. So, we, we going to the A not knowing what we gonna do. You know, we ain't know what we gonna do. Uh, Reed from 100 Magazine, he ended up just calling out the blue and was like, man, what y'all doing? I was like, shit, we headed today. He was like, I'm finna leave here. He was like, what y'all do, gonna do down here? I was like, I don't know. We coming to get a feature from somebody. And then he was like, who? 